Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a cabinet that looks like this. So if you have a funny shaped cabinet, how can we use PyTask auxiliary lines to create a cabinet like this? So first in PyTask, we will first go into Excel. Alright, next we will go into our auxiliary lines. Alright, and say, and go to the top view. Okay, so right now I'm going to draw this out. So the first one is 910, which is the base here. All right, I know that somewhere on top, okay, is about, okay, let me just get some dimensions out over here. Okay, so this is about 543. Okay, in this words, I'll put 540, 540 on top, going straight, 222, 720, 235. Alright, so first, we say horizontal line for the top. So for the top, I know that this line is 540. So I say 540. So we have a line that is 540 here. Okay, next, I want to know this line to here the distance okay so i say dimension linear from here to here okay and i see that the distance is about 194 so i'm just going to say vertical 194 all right 194 over here 910 so how do i do it how do i state the 910 actually it's not really 910 it is okay about here to here it is about 916 all right so there's some scaling errors for this you can see that in this autocad file there's a scaling mistake okay so let's just follow this as 910 and we are just going to say uh offset parallel against this line 910 enter so if you look here i have the straight going up okay going somewhere here ending there so first i know that this is 235 yeah so i'm just going to say line click on this point and give it the an angle so i know that the angle is 45 click. so i know that over here this is this line i know that this is 90 degrees at the 720 Okay, so I say parallel, this one, 7, 2, 0, enter. Alright, and I'll say line, draw a new line here, and say that this line is against this angle, da, 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 da. it's about 45. So if you look at this, we are having the shape now. Okay, how does this look like? Now we are having a shape that look like... Uh, this this we are going here all right we are going here sorry we are going here okay we are going here then we are going here and we're going here so you can see from here i have drawn up the shape so once i have the shape i say 3d data i say face and i click click Okay, from here to here is the 720. Click here, click, click down, click. That's it. And straight away, we have a file, a face. Alright, and in this face, we can now say profile and give it a thickness of 18mm or minus 18 to be up. Alright, so now I have the base panel. And now we just say copy up to the height of the cabinet. If the height of the cabinet is 750 minus 18, we have something like this over here. Okay. So now I can just draw the cabinet side. Click. Click. This is minus 18. Done. Click. Click. Minus 18 or rather 18. Done. All right. Okay, so now what happens if I have a panel over here that I need it to be anchored? 
okay and how do we use pipe auxiliary lines to create this shape over here all right so we can easily just use auxiliary lines again and how do i do it i press auxiliary lines okay i say and then we will say sorry we go back to auxiliary lines i will delete the old auxiliary lines so i say delete everything because i don't need the old one i can say line i can click on this point and end it off somewhere here and we know that this is about 45 degree okay so i can just stick it to 45 click all right next i can say parallel this line going in by 18 mm all right okay so if i look at the top view and i off my solid off my shaded i'm trying to draw this okay so let me show you again i made a slight mistake line click on this point we know that it's 45 click parallel this panel going in by 18 done all right so now we have the option we have two we have a panel here okay so we can just draw a panel here so i'll say line again okay click and i can just find it at 45 done line here same thing 90 3d data face or i can just say profile directly one two three four five all right come into excel and i'll see that this is about my this is maybe seven five zero all right so this is a solid so i'm just going to say minus 700 for this example okay and i'm just going to exit the auxiliary lines and i'm just going to move this guy up okay and of course if i want i can say extend over to the sorry extend over to the top in the z all right so now we have a panel that's intersecting okay so if i'm just going to switch this off okay so if i want to cut this panel okay what do i do i just go to different okay or rather difference copy difference copy okay i say this part is the part that remains and this part is the part that i want to cut enter and you see immediately the panel has been cut okay and we have the join okay and then we say all parts visible again and now how do we create this block if i press q and i click here and i click here we can it's wrong okay this is not the way if i if i have a plane that i want to cut do i want to create a block but it's off my anger okay we go into environment we go into new local coordinate system i'll say the origin is here you see the x i'll say that the x is this edge and i say that the x y could be here all right and then now python rotates me to the correct if i press q which is block or i go main parts block click on this point click on this point and say 18 minus 18 mm enter and i say environment off and now we have this panel nicely done so this is how you create a panel so this is the first way of creating a panel all right the second way of doing this exercise is to use the autocad lines so if i have an autocad line like this i'm just going to delete the line so i'm just going to select and say delete all these lines okay so i have something like this delete this delete everything okay so we have something like this so another way is to use the autocad line so i'm going to say file save as okay save it to my desktop okay dwg autocad line and in python we say file import dwg desktop autocad line and we have something like this how do we check press press this is 916 i'm going to tell python to make this 910 but before that 
we first go to ages age tools okay so go to age tools and say mm, close chain select everything enter so now if i right click it's one solid and now i can say parts profile ages and i have a profile okay and i can say that this is a thin all right but if you notice there's something wrong over here see here this lines is so called damage okay so if you have such a situation you will need to actually modify or change the autocad okay so we go back to h tools and now we will say let's just open the chain again okay or just uh or just undo it okay so i'm just going to undo sorry just going to undo okay and we have something like this i'm just going to delete this line and what i'm going to do now is to just redraw this line because sometimes it is this line that is the, is the one giving the problem i say close chain enter everything is closed if i and then i check again parts profile ages like the age and now it's perfect it's a solid so i say 18 okay but now we want to fix this this should be 910 okay so over here we want this to be 910 how do we do that we first go to tools one and we say zoom to length click point to point here and say that this is 910 enter so now Python scales this to 910 okay so this is good and then i should check on the drawing okay in the drawing this is 235 okay 235 so i'm just going to check two okay so this is two six nine so what we are going to do we are going to say extend this point from this point to this point and we say minus two three five for example this shrinks now all right so from here this part we can just copy going up by 750 and you can do the same steps to create the cabinet so this is how you create a weird angled cabinet first step is either using auxiliary lines or second way is to use the autocad do drop us any comments if you have any questions thank you